Have you ever felt the wind whisper secrets in your ear? Or watched a bird soar through the sky, completely free? Well, for most kids in my neighborhood, that feeling came from flying kites, but for me, it was a mystery. I was the only one who'd never even held a kite, let alone flown one. It felt like a secret language I couldn't understand. My name is Alex, and I'm a bit shy. Making new friends isn't always easy for me. Thankfully, I have Mark, my best friend since forever. Mark, on the other hand, is a total daredevil. He's always up for an adventure, and his smile is as bright as the summer sun. One sunny afternoon, the wind danced through the trees carrying the sweet scent of freshly cut grass. It was a perfect day for flying kites. Mark burst through my door, his eyes sparkling with excitement. Alex, come on, everyone's at the park, flying kites. It's gonna be amazing. My heart thumped in my chest. I longed to join them, to feel the wind tug at a kite string in my hand. But the truth was, I felt a pang of jealousy. How could I fly a kite when I'd never even touched one? Mark, oblivious to my worries, grabbed my arm and practically dragged me outside. On our way to the park, we passed Mark's older brother's room. The window was open and there, hanging on the wall, was a magnificent red and yellow kite. It looked like a firebird ready to take flight. A mischievous idea popped into my head. What if I just borrowed it? No one would notice, right? It would be my secret adventure into the world of kites. Shamefaced, I confess, I borrowed the kite without asking. Reaching the park, I was greeted by a sea of colorful kites dancing in the sky. Laughter filled the air and the joy was contagious. I fumbled with the borrowed kite, feeling a knot of guilt twist in my stomach. Mark helped me get it set up, his enthusiasm lighting a fire in my own heart. As the wind caught the kite, it surged upwards. But my excitement was short-lived. A gust of wind sent my kite careening wildly. Before I knew it, my line tangled with another kid's kite. Both kites plummeted to the ground in a tangled mess. Tears welled up in my eyes. Shame burned hotter than the summer sun. I confessed to Mark and everyone else, my voice trembling, about borrowing the kite without permission. There was a moment of silence, but then something unexpected happened. Mark smiled. It wasn't a mocking smile, but a smile of understanding. Hey, it happens, he said. The important thing is you told the truth. To my surprise, the other kids agreed. Don't worry, a girl with a bright blue kite said. We can fix it. And that's exactly what we did. Together, we untangled the mess, laughing and sharing stories. We even managed to borrow some spare string from a friendly vendor. Slowly, with teamwork and a lot of patience, we got both kites soaring high again. That day, my kite didn't just fly, it soared. It carried the weight of my honesty, the joy of friendship, and the thrill of finally experiencing the magic of flight. As we watched our kites dance in the sky, a sudden gust of wind blew open Mark's brother's window again. The red and yellow kite was gone, did the wind take it for another adventure? Or did someone else discover the secret of flight that day? That, my friends, is a story for another time. But one thing's for sure, sometimes the greatest adventures are the ones we share with friends, fueled by honesty and the power of forgiveness. Hey everyone, welcome back to the story of my first kite flying adventure. Remember, we soared high with honesty and friendship, but there was a little mystery left hanging, the missing red and yellow kite. Well, buckle up because things are about to get a little sticky, literally. After successfully untangling the kites and watching them dance in the sky, a wave of relief washed over me. I even managed to muster the courage to apologize to Mark's brother for borrowing the kite without permission. Thankfully, he saw the remorse in my eyes and just chuckled, saying, Don't worry about it, Alex, as long as it came back safe, that's all that matters. Later that evening, as I was putting away my toys, something caught my eye. Stuck to the bottom of my shoe was a glob of bright yellow, something. Curiosity peaked, I peeled it off, my heart skipping a beat when I recognized the fabric. 
It was a piece of the missing red and yellow kite. Now, my mind raced. I found Mark sprawled on his bed, nose buried in a comic book. Hey, I began hesitantly, holding up the sticky yellow evidence about the red and yellow. Mark looked up, a flicker of surprise crossing his face. Then, he sheepishly admitted, okay, okay, I might have borrowed it first to practice before showing everyone. My jaw dropped, Mark, the fearless daredevil, who wasn't afraid of anything, was scared to try something new in front of his friends. It made me realize that everyone has insecurities, even Mark. Together, we decided to come clean with his brother the next day. But before we did, we had a mission to fix the torn piece of kite. Mark, ever resourceful, raided his mom's sewing kit. With a needle and thread clumsily poking at our fingers, we definitely weren't sewing champions. We managed to patch the hole. The finished product looked a little lopsided, but hey, it held. The next day, we approached Mark's brother with a heavy heart, ready to confess. But to our surprise, he just laughed. I figured something was up with that sticky patch on my window, he said. No worries, though. I saw you guys flying today, and it looked like a blast. Relief washed over us. Not only had we been forgiven, but Mark's brother also shared a valuable lesson. Sometimes, the most fun things in life are the ones that scare us a little, he said, winking. The red and yellow kite, now sporting its battle scar, hung proudly on Mark's brother's wall. It served as a reminder, honesty might be scary sometimes, but facing our fears and relying on friends can lead to amazing adventures. Speaking of adventures, who knows what challenges and kite flying mishaps await us next. Stay tuned because our next adventure might just involve conquering a fear of heights or maybe even building a kite from scratch. Until then, keep your eyes peeled for the wind whispering secrets and get ready to chase after your own dreams no matter how scary they might seem. Weeks flew by filled with countless kite flying adventures. We learned to navigate tricky wind currents, perform daring divies, and even managed a synchronized kite ballet well. At least it looked impressive from our point of view. But a new challenge loomed on the horizon, the Great Hill Top Challenge. The name itself sent shivers down my spine. The Great Hill Top was a steep, grassy incline on the outskirts of town. It was rumored to be the ultimate kite flying spot, offering unparalleled wind speeds and breathtaking views. However, it also had a reputation for being a little dangerous. One day, Mark burst into my room, his eyes gleaming with a mischievous glint. Alex, I have a plan, he declared. We're going to conquer the Great Hill Top, my stomach lurched. The thought of flying a kite from that height made my palms sweat. But seeing Mark's unwavering enthusiasm, a spark of determination ignited within me. I, I'm in, I stammered. The next day, we arrived at the base of the Great Hill Top, dwarfed by its immensity. The wind howled around us, carrying the faint cries of other kite flyers. My heart pounded in my chest, threatening to burst. Are you sure about this, Alex? Mark asked, his voice barely audible over the wind. Taking a deep breath, I focused on the thrill of flight, the feeling of the wind tugging at the string, the joy of conquering a fear. Let's do it, I said, my voice surprisingly steady. We carefully climbed the hill, the wind whipping at our faces and threatening to snatch our kites away. Finally, we reached the summit, the view was breathtaking, a vast expanse of green fields stretching towards the horizon. We launched our kites, the wind instantly whipping them skyward. They soared like majestic birds, dancing in the turbulent currents. Suddenly, a gust of wind ripped through my kite. It jerked violently, pulling me off balance. My feet skidded on the loose grass, and with a gasp of terror, I tumbled down the hill. The world spun around me, a blur of green and blue. Before I could hit the ground, a strong arm grabbed me and pulled me back. I looked up to see Mark, his face pale but resolute. Together, we crawled back to our feet, slightly shaken but unharmed. Our kites, thankfully, seemed to be holding their own, despite the wind's fury. We spent the next hour navigating the tricky winds, learning to adapt our skills to the demands of the Great Hill Top. 
While the initial fear remained, it gradually transformed into a thrill. We were pushing our boundaries, testing our limits, and most importantly, doing it together. As the sun began its descent, casting the landscape in a warm glow, we knew it was time to head back. We carefully reeled in our kites, a sense of accomplishment washing over us. The great hilltop had certainly lived up to its name, challenging yet exhilarating. Back at the base, we collapsed on the grass, catching our breath. Despite the fear, we couldn't wipe the triumphant smiles off our faces. We had faced a challenge together, pushed past our comfort zones, and emerged victorious. The Great Hilltop wasn't just about conquering a hill, it was about conquering our fears. As we watched the last rays of sunlight fade, Mark nudged me and whispered, so, next challenge. Maybe conquering that fear of heights you mentioned. A nervous laugh escaped my lips, the thought of flying a kite from even higher still sent shivers down my spine. But looking at Mark, his eyes filled with excitement, I couldn't help but feel a flicker of determination. Maybe, just maybe, the next adventure wasn't so far off after all. Mark's challenge lingered in my mind like a playful taunt. Fear of heights still gripped me, but the memory of conquering the great hilltop together sparked a flicker of hope. Maybe, just maybe, I could overcome this fear too. Days turned into weeks, and my determination grew. Inspired by countless internet tutorials, I decided to build my own kite. It wouldn't be a masterpiece, but it would be mine, a symbol of my journey towards conquering my fear. Gathering scraps of fabric, bamboo sticks, and string, I spent hours meticulously crafting my creation. It wasn't perfect, a bit lopsided and uneven, but it held a charm that spoke of my dedication. Mark, ever the supportive friend, helped me with the trickier parts, his enthusiasm infectious. Finally, the day arrived, we chose a familiar park, a flat open space with a gentle breeze. My heart hammered a frantic rhythm against my ribs as I held my homemade kite aloft. Slowly, I released the string, watching with bated breath as it caught the wind. The kite wobbled a bit at first, but then it soared. It wasn't the highest flight, just a few feet off the ground, but for me, it was a monumental victory. A smile stretched across my face, the fear momentarily forgotten. Over the next few weeks, I practiced diligently. My kite flights grew higher and higher, each successful launch chipping away at the fear. Finally, we felt confident enough to return to the Great Hill Top. The familiar wind held a greeting as we reached the summit. This time, the view didn't send shivers down my spine, it filled me with a sense of anticipation. Launching my homemade kite was nerve-wracking, but the familiar feeling of the wind tugging at the string calmed me. As the kite climbed higher and higher, the ground shrunk beneath me. Fear threatened to resurface, but I focused on the feeling of control, the way the wind responded to my movements. Slowly, the fear receded, replaced by a sense of wonder. My kite soared above the other kites, a colorful patch work against the vast blue canvas of the sky. The world stretched out before me in a breathtaking panorama. I was no longer a scared kid, but a bird dancing on the wind, a master of my own flight. Looking down, I saw Mark, a huge grin plastered on his face. He raised his hand in a thumbs up, and I returned the gesture, a silent understanding passing between us. We had both conquered our fears, reaching new heights together literally and figuratively. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the landscape, we reeled in our kites, a sense of accomplishment warming our hearts. The journey to conquer my fear had been long, filled with challenges and doubts. But standing there, the wind whispering secrets in my ear, I knew one thing for sure, sometimes the greatest adventures are the ones that take us beyond our comfort zones and the most breathtaking views come from reaching for the clouds. Our kite flying adventures don't end here. There are always new challenges to conquer, new heights to reach, and maybe, just maybe, even a hot air balloon ride in the future. But that, as they say, is a story for another time. Until then, keep your eyes peeled for the wind, feel the tug of adventure in your heart, and never stop chasing your dreams, no matter how high they seem to soar.